Do it up. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Hometown Opens. We did it. We rode the sail. We got another set box of Commander Legends Dungeons and Dragons Battle for Baldur's Gate Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> You have way too much fun saying the name every single time, and I just I love it. I, I just, just like, nod I just, along with I you. just I just colloquially refer to it as Commander Legends too because it's just easier. But no, it's printed on the box. <laughs> this entirely long name. Oh, yeah. Guys, we're back. Out. We're back for another set booster box. Uh, Car Kingdom was nice enough to offload their stock on sale. Well, we thought, why not re up and have a good time? Uh, unfortunately, there's been a little bit of a. Uh, how do I word this the right way? A little bit of. A downshift or downplay or a down, little bit of uh, unconfidence in this set, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, man, that just means hopefully we hit insert was, good card here. No, I was I was talking with somebody who plays Commander as well. Um, seems uh, Josh Moore, if you're watching. Hey, what's up, man? Um, but we we're playing disc golf, and I asked him. I was like, Hey, you been brewing anything from Baldur's Gate? And he goes, No, I'm actually kind of looking more forward towards uh, the Commanders of double masters and I might buy a couple packs and see what I can pull off of it and I was just like oh what happened to Baldur's Gate and he goes it's kind of a disappointment and I was like oh well <laughs> I think a lot of the community feels that way and I see it like I, I understand to some degree but I think for people who like really play commander and really brew like mm -hmm. this set has a ton of stuff oh in yeah them. and so yes this is not a um Strixhaven with the Mystical Archives where you're getting mega value per pack and you know there's all this you know I would argue that this is probably more hit and miss than you know than than other sets but like the flavor is cool there's so much good stuff in here I don't know why people are so like down on it yeah I mean like I don't I don't think it's bad I like the diff the different stuff that we got out of it I like the new stuff we got out of it as well so how can you not like boo exactly mince and boo they're together again. D and D posted. Ooh, pretty signed. Uh, I don't know the name of that one. That's oh the Mer, the Mer, Mer. It's pretty dope. I want to say, as much as I love these lands with mm -hmm. the uh, flavor text on oh, them. Oh, those were my favorite. And those I think they're really lands. cool. Like half of me wishes they would have just put full art lands. <laughs> I don't know. I think it kind of just like plays into like the whole being a story type thing. I think I might honestly just main all of these lands. <laughs> Doing really good. Else. Hey, Acolyte of Bahamut, shout out to her. Yeah, our head we got to a head. we got a Raphael fiendish savior. Oh, I like I like that card. If I didn't already have a, a far traveler, a Rakdos commander in mind. We got Feywild visitor and a in the in the foil etched. Forgot about that. That's the thing. I got a Mahadi. Got Lazel. We got Serbok Deathbringer, and we got a list card Jiraga Tree Speaker. Cool. I don't sleep on my hottie, all right? It's my hottie. Flaming oh, Fist. Oh, no. Yeah, I did oh, it. Yeah. Oh, I did it. Guild Artisan in a cool... What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that called? Foil Etched. Thank you. Foil Etched. I'll put that to the side just so I can just leave it here in a second. Windshaper Planeteer in a Foil First. And a Skeleton. Oh, that's pretty dope. A skeleton. Who gives this 4-1 and a Menace? Uh, Altar of Bale. Oh. Well, the artifact. That's pretty dope. Oh, there he is. <gasps> the man. The, the man. spellcaster himself, Elminster. I love Elminster. I love the uh, as much as I don't I don't play them, I do appreciate that these are out there now. When when do you find a spot to put the diamonds in? I was thinking about that last night. Like a budget playing. artifact deck. Oh, okay. Huh. What is this? Boy? There's just too many good uh there's too many good artifacts. Yeah, man. I gotta love the little art card. Ooh, on. foil etched John Arrakis. John. Oh, there we go. We got White Plume Adventurer. Nice. Got Fang Dragon. Shout Fang. Out, shout out to the adventure. And that rabbit. Hey. That wabbit. That whiskey wabbit. You Lost dirty rat. rat. You killed my brother. Crystal. Hey, look, a gate. Somebody plays that. Hey, another, another gate. gate. It's gonna be hey, like a third game. I was about to say, is this gonna be all oops all gates? Dot deck. I literally would just take the pack. <laughs> Skullwinder. Kaga. Nothic. That Ooh. is some that's a creepy that's art. A and I'm horrifying into it. Thing. And I'm into it. Ernest. Hey, Jan Jansen. Jan Jansen. Can confirm. Can confirm. Criminal past. Lulu. Is that it? 
<laughs> is that the guy from Fortnite? <gasps> Look at this boy. Look at this man. That's a beautiful Velo. man. Velo. And a foil citadel gate and a soul dagger. It's Velo. Volo out here documenting. <laughs> That is uh, Bay Baylor. 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 I still like these, or they have yeah. the actual uh, little stat sheet on the back. Stat yeah. cards. Oh, look at that! Very, very black start Ooh. there with legendary creatures. Meteor Golem. Got to get that. Got to get that reprint. Fireball. Got Merkel. Merkel. Miracle. Lord of Bones. <laughs> He's bad to bone. Party Outlander. Candlekeep Sage and that pretty foil etch. Illithid Harvester. Cool card. Got a foil Mighty Servant of Luke O. And a pretty Pegasus. Type. Hashtag still working on vehicles in my mind. In my mind. In my mind. <laughs> I got the. In my uh, head. <laughs> I was trying my best not to say it. Uh, I got the uh, the Horror Dragon. Brain Stealer Vegas. Dragon. Brain Stealer. Thank Stealing you. them brains. Stealing them brains. Swamp. Going into the dungeon. Moss time. Is it? Not them brains. Ernest. Not egg. them bones. Them not brains. Them bones. Them brains. Carefree swine. I feel so alone. Oh my Stealing God. up a big old pile of the brains. Look at the manager right there. A taunting kobold, because, you know, that's what we need in our lives. Say that word. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> All I can think of Ch is Kachiga. Kachiga. Kachiga, yeah. OG. I want to say it's really weird to, like, open the set. And then Baba go, go play, uh, hey, reflecting pool. Nice. And then go play Alchemy on Arena, where, where like half the cards are different. <gasps> That's trash. Oh, we got a Slesnia key rune on the list. Okay, what are you doing here? Get out of here. You, you don't, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, there it is, the Elder Brain. <laughs> With the stats on the back. I don't want to know the stats. Oh, that got a worse one. Corlessa. I still I still like Corlessa. I just Where does it go? Yeah, that's I mean, that's question. Well when we make our popper uh Stop. commander decks, uh that'll be my commander. Oh yeah? You're gonna make popper dragons? There's actually been a resurgence as of late of people talking about popper commander where you play with an uncommon as your commander. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Popular entertainer, we have a foil etched Zevlor. Ooh, Roby the Arch Magi, going super deep on the rares. Hey, yo. Oh, Trailblazer's Torch. And an Unwinding Clock. Not a bad card That's from the list good. there. I already got the, um, oh, don't tell me it's not. I know it's a Beholder, but it's actually not called Beholder. It's a. Uh, it's called Brah. Oh, <laughs> Death Tyrant. That's Dang what it's it. called. We, uh, I actually thought it was going to be called Brah. <laughs> like, no. I love the Death Tyrant, man. Those are, those are very, very fun to play around with when you're a DM. Uh, probably not as fun to play against. Hey guys, it sounds like the Tarrasque is coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You hear something coming from the ground. Uh, murder. <clears throat> Learned why that card's good last night. Daily Dispute. Hey, I think it still goes for like a dollar and a half. Farming that value. Why is that card so good? It seems like 35 more Daily Disputes will be good. Hey, hey look at that king. woman. The witch, the witch king. The witch queen. <laughs> I said the witch king in my head. The and I was like, that's, that's not right. The witch king. Hey, hey luxury, luxury sweet. sweet. That's a good card. I like that we're just going A all the time. What are we doing here? What do we got here? Objective. What is it called? Magic Minigame Mini Master. Play a quick game of magic using only the cards in a single pack. You may also know this game Oh, pack wars. Pack yeah. wars. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, that, that was actually not a You had, uh, I think it's two lands of each basic type in your pack, and you play a little game of commander. Or a little game of regular magic. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's a... Uh, that's a that's, that's a last that's, land. That's last, the guy. That's, that's the woman. The guy. I like that, that. A little offset. Is that the guy from Fort? <laughs> um, guys, I'm gonna check out now. I'll see y'all next time. Gorion, wise mentor. He he knows what he did. I know. What he did. Street urchin, Kaga, raised by giants. Oh, that's sick. But hang on, I'll come back to it. Sullivan is Sullivan is is invoker and the undercity. All right, this is where I was gonna stop you because listen, why not give us three more? They are. Why not flood the board with them? There are so many adventures that you could have gone off of, yep. and they gave us one. Not only did they give us one, then they said, "I'm gonna give you this, which only goes into this." All right, look at this boy. Look at this man right here. What? what is that sign? That's the like sign version. Yeah, right? man. Look at that. It's pretty. That's 
That's pretty cool. I love that art. It's one of my favorites in the set. The Kinkus, bro, there's something else, let me tell you. Uh, I, I love when our friend Roy played as one. Uh, then he died, and his next character came in and ate him as a piece of, like, fried chicken. Seems to Uh Yeah, 100%. Uh, big girl, let me tell you. She got that big girl. Winter Electric. Clockwork Fox. Structure. Oh, giant. Pass to JC. Two-handed axe. Here we go. Is it a three-handed axe? Uh, no, it's a two-handed axe. Two-handed axe. Alkalite of Bahamut. Oops, all on commons? Colonel, Colonel Pass. Past. Oops, all on commons? Maybe. I mean, we are, just, uh, we are, we are guaranteed. To, we actually are guaranteed a rare. I know that that's a crazy concept. And a mo, a moin, a mowin, a mu, a mewin, <laughs> a mewtwo. Wait, what? I'm not good with vowels. I don't. Really <laughs> know. Oh, it's uh, it's the doppelganger. Hey, uh, literally called doppelganger. There it is. The best card in the set. Wilson refined Grizzly. I'm talking about Neutra's lore. Yeah. Let's yes. Go. Lightning bolt. Not the cool art though. Nine figures king. Cool card. I got you. Ooh, we oh, got oh, oh. Candle Keep Sage. And eh, not as good. Got a foil that's raised by giants. I got you. Got another Gorian. Gorian! Man, didn't we pull like eight of those? And a time? banishment. Because we're going to banish things. Banish. Did we pull like eight of them? Gorians. I think we've had like three so far. What was it? We pulled. We were in uh, Capenna when we pulled uh, the Rhino Boy like yeah. five times. <gasps> there he Lulu. I got a fish. I really hope Decanter of Endless Water becomes a good becomes a played card. It's actually not bad for three mana. Look at that foil island. Alright, moving on. Vit vit. Mm hmm Can we just uh, if you're watching this, please reach this? out to us. We'd love to pay the postage for you, send us all of your goggles of night so we can burn them. <laughs> like that, like that. I have pulled like eight of these. I've opened like twenty packs in total. <laughs> That's a bad thing. Pack attack! That's a cool card. Okay, sorry, I, I haven't read that. I don't think. Band together. They're gonna ban. They're gonna pull. They're gonna. They're bringing the band back. Does it give them banding? It's swashbuckler. Ground pass. Ambition cost. Ambitions cost. I start. Oh, let's leave that in a second. It is rare. Master Chief. Master Chief. Oh look at that! Glunch. Morphic pull. Morphic pull. Keep going on. Wafer's up. bobble. Mitch would be happy. He would be very happy. And a foil and copy because who doesn't want Lulu. to copy? Lulu. What's the backside? Oh, it's just lame stuff. Lulu lame. the elephant. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sleeve the Wayfarer's bobble. And, and you sleeve that bobble. Just because I knew that Mitch would There's like, so much value there Mitch in that bobble. Mitch would want us to. A Moen, Mystic Trickster. Spire Garden, nice. Wizards of Thay. I want to use this card. I just gotta figure out how. You put it in a wizard deck. I just gotta figure out how. <laughs> and our list card is what Mongrel is Pack. What Mongrel Pack was put into any graveyard from play during combat. Put four Hound tokens into play. Those creatures are treat those tickets as one one green creatures. I'm gonna guess this set. Um, you look it up so that way I won't be able to see it. Got you, bud. <sighs> I, my honest guess is Odyssey, only because that that uh, that cloud with the lightning kind of looks like the Greek uh, gods thing, and I figured maybe that would work. Am I off or it's Tempest? Ah, oh, that makes more sense with the storm. Hey, is Mongrel Pack worth anything? A dollar. Hey, better than nothing. <laughs> we we won't sleep it though. <laughs> You're gonna keep it. We're what? We're up to three, uh, three battle bond lands. So we're doing pretty good so Wait, far. Wait, how many tokens do you put? And how much is it? It's four. Four. For a four-one. Then you get to put four into play during combat. That's to go to the graveyard from play during combat. Oh, so you basically just swing with it. Like, so you just block with it. And or then, that. Yeah. Now remember, because of the errata, this is a dog. Yeah. Yeah. You could play it in some other stuff. Charcoal knife. Gain ass. Gain ass. Card bronze walrus as opposed to a regular walrus, walrus. as opposed to just say? a plain walrus. I say walrus. Who wants a plain walrus when you even have a bronze walrus? I say Wallace, like Rusty Wallace. You know who Rusty Wallace was? I am aware of who Rusty Wallace was. Yeah. What number? He's alive, right? I meant like when he was racing. I I should know his number, but I don't. Dude, Mahadi. Uh, he was number two. He drove for Middle of Light. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Cool, old Commander Liar. Miller Ooh, Liar. <laughs> look at that ship! 
That's scary. The noodaloids. The noodaloids. Noodaloids. Hey, it's a flutist. What is a, a giant, giant bard? It's a giant bard. It's a bard giant. Crystal dragon and the initiative. We got Lulu, the regular version this time. Oh, a holophone. Just a regular have, holophone. Have you looked at the other city and what it does? I have. Uh, okay. I, I've looked at it. Does it make you want to build dungeons more or not? Uh, to be honest, I I think I'm in love with the idea of dungeons instead of actually building dungeons. We got a shit hard. It's like if you had a girlfriend and you're like, mm, I could cheat on you, but I shouldn't because I'm smarter than that. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what I mean. That's the that's the Fourth analogy. Found on land of the box as Mikey digs himself a hole. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying like that's what that's the joke that we make. You know, you see a commander across the table and you're like, oh man, I'm gonna have a six month relationship with that, that dragon. dragon. Yeah, I mean, I guess I, I just yeah, that checks out. So yeah, so I mean, you look at your commanders you already have and you're like, eh. it's like literally looks at the Discord log. Yep, yeah, yeah, that's right. Nice. <laughs> looks down at notes. Looks down at the <laughs> everything. I got it. That is a that is a <laughs> freaky thing. I, I'm into that. Nothing. I couldn't think of the names, man. My brain's anything. Anytime magic art looks like a death metal album, <laughs> I'm in. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Safana. What does she do? You can choose a background. What if it literally just said choose background? It's just like it's a it's a vanilla two two that says choose a background. You're like okay. It's not even it's not even a legendary. You're like wait what? <laughs> How do I do that? Uh, Dombry, Claire. Hashtag uh, AFR it used to be fun. Iron Mastiff, hashtag. Hey man, you remember when AFR was cool? <laughs> I actually did. <laughs> Do, whatever. Hey. Burnished Heart, pretty burnished Heart. I have the old version of that somewhere until I sell it. Anybody want to play uh, Squirrels? Squirrels, hey. Hey, a beauty, the pretty. Hey, hey. you Going got deep it. on the gates. Five bucks is every single one, or there's one in every single box. Hey. hey. That's trash. Get that garbage. Hey. Oh. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, <laughs> value, value. Like <laughs> that, that gain X, there he is, and the pretty. What a what a cool what a cool card, unfortunately. Hey, we is... got a command tower. Oh. And a swift of boots. I mean I have two of those now, but it's fine. Alondo the Seer. But only two command towers. Oh, that's it. We got Candle Keep Sage. We got Safana oh. and Hey look Safana. Oh. Hey, see the clouds! I think we completed right. it. I what think is, we got all what five. Does she do? I need to know these things. I want to know and a, what you and a, do. And a, and a super metal looking sapling token. Did we complete it? Did we get all five? You are completed. Did we complete it? Like, uh, Tamio? Did we get completed? I don't think completed? so. Shh, spoilers. But did, we got all five. Literally honest, that. getting completed, what? We got one pack left, look, we got all five. Hey, oh, you, I was excited, yeah, you got one more. I, I gave it to you. Since you were Uno Moss. Like, since you were the one like, hey. Cartoon was doing this, and I was like, okay. Oh, uh, that's a sword. <laughs> it's not. It's a that's a crystal. I was like, wait a minute. Get Dude, wrecked. Uh, there's not a sword in it. Is that a phoenix? Yeah, it is. Cast down? Get that, get that reprint? It doesn't look like it should be in Baldur's Gate, but you know what? It is. Turn it over. Oh, my own Mystic Trickster. Gale. Oh, Gale. That inspiring leader. One of my favorite backgrounds on the set. Cloakwood Hermit, come on, big money, big money, no way in the A's. We got Ball. Ball. Lord of Murder. Hey, Murder. Lord sense. of the Murder. Pay for the Arts. And another Undercity. Ball. To, to Ken. Well, man, we did it. Okay, so she's adding to the dungeon delving thing. You know what? I'll make dungeon delving work. I guess. You know, I've already done... If if someone has to fall on that sword, you know. It's, it's gonna be me because it's gonna be me. Uh, it's it's just gonna be me because I do stupid stuff like that. I mean, what? I've I feel already... like there's actually a fairly decent dungeon diving deck though. Like, like. Like Sephiris is the is the way to go. It is. Which is unfortunate because there's so many good green cards that help you with that. I just want to go infinite on. Uh, I wish. They... I just want to go infinite with uh, uh, rooftop storm and stop. A Sarah Just uh, make infinite zombie tokens. <laughs> Man, I don't think we did too bad. No, it's got all good. five of the, the Battle Bob lands, which is great. Yep. You got some cards for your gates deck. Oh, yeah. I am running uh, gates. We got on. a pretty foil <laughs> Browns dragon. What's well, not the one I want, though. I want the, uh, the, uh, the book art. You got like nine Gorions, so like hopefully that goes somewhere. We got Tasha, Tasha. That's pretty great. Oh, just throw the card, bud. We're, we're just throwing everything here. 
We're not worried about it. Got a reflecting pool, so that's cool. We got all six of the lands that you... <laughs> got Jan Jansen. Jan? I still want to make Wizards if they work. We'll figure it out. Chat, we'll figure it out. Dude, figure it out. I like seeing the Unwinding Clock. That's a cool artifact. From Zendikar? No. Yeah. That looks like no, a Phyrexian, Phyrexian. symbol. All Insert heal. name of set here. <laughs> all <laughs> heal. New Phyrexian. Early Earth Magi. I love that card. That's cool. Because, you know, who doesn't want Phyrexians? Are we going to harvest some some uh, Illithids there? All right, which Phyrexians go into Dominaria? Oh, man. Going deep. Uh, Ellis Norn calling it done. Well, Ellis Norn has been picked as the leader, so that would make sense. What if, and hear me out. Both. We see Jimmy G again. <laughs> he comes back. What if we saw Urbrask and he actually does we something this time? We have two Jenga cards in standard at Wait the same minute. time. I'm sorry. I don't mean to sidetrack away from a, or yeah, from Baldur's Gate here, but what did Urbrask do in New Capenna? He was there. Don't tell me he was just there. <laughs> kind of like Vorinclex. Like, what was he doing in well, well, Call Dime? He actually had a mission. Spoilers, if you don't care about spoilers, we the video. Okay, um, well, Vorinclex actually got the elixir. Yeah, that's which, what he was which, doing. Which helped make the Phyrexians actually be able to planeswalk. Kind of. Um, now we have, which was used to help complete, complete, Tamio. complete it. Uh, Urbrask actually was technically there. Was he supposed to get the angel stuff? Yes. Also, he was there to... The angel puke? Try to... So, so basically, Urbrask is leading the Phyrexian resistance to Elishorn. And he was there to try to find people to help him. And he got... Is he trying know, to fight Elishorn? Yes, basically he's trying to be the resistance. He, he's, he's a good guy? Well, okay, he's like chaotic good. Like I love he, it. He's like, we shouldn't force order to the world. The world should be the way it is. So he's not like good. Like he's just like... It is what it is. But like, <laughs> he's not good. He's just like, I know you're bad. You need to go. <laughs> okay. So what is the Phyrexian? He's like, he's like so wait. oh, I don't want to force people to to, to, to become Phyrexians. We should, but, but war is still good. <laughs> like, so you like, know what I mean? Are all the Phyrexians at each other's throats? Like, can we just... No. Um, okay. I, this my this is my understanding watch. is like Urbrask is like that, that like resistance splinter cell like inside. The, like, because you got to remember, the Phyrexians are literally a hive mind. Like, they're just... This is why his cards are so weak. And then also, <laughs> for some reason, which I still have yet to figure out, Elshon is, like, afraid of Elspeth, and it kind of intrigues me. Who isn't afraid of Elspeth, though? Let's be honest. That woman literally beat death in the face. So to answer your question that I think you were really driving at, which is who's going to get completed in Dominaria? Liliana. I'm going Teferi. Teferi, yeah. That would be amazing, actually. That would make me so happy. The only question is, is Karn's good... Is Karn's card good or bad? That's the what question. If, what if Karn gets completed, but they realize he can't be completed because he's basically just robot? Like, they try and fail. Like yeah, the exactly. Man, and they're like, well, we gotta pick somebody else. Man, uh, fun fact, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, you should uh, totally make a um, campaign. I just want to put this out there right now. If they complete my boy, a Johnny, I will lose. <laughs> oh, no, I will sell all my magic cards immediately. <laughs> I feel like a Johnny is the kind of guy who, like, he would see them coming and be like, nope. <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> Wait, what was it? What was it? When they were fighting the Kabolas, like, a Johnny was like, you guys realize, like, this guy's, like, super strong, right? And then he goes and it, punches him in the face. Then he's on the weather light. He's like, you guys shouldn't go. It's going to go bad. And the game watch is like, no, it'll be okay. And then they lose the fight. And they come back. And then Johnny doesn't even say, I told you so. He just realizes that they learned their lesson. And he's like... Cool, so we're going to get more people now. <laughs> like, what was the Johnny doing? Was he like just sitting back reading a book and then they just kind of like come in like Jace like has like half his arm like hanging off and he's just like, what happened? <laughs> well, Johnny was like basically trying to recruit other people. Like yeah. he was running around trying to recruit other people. Well, we know now he was also trying to find Elspeth. But... Yes. That's why he went to Theros. Yes. Uh, I have I have no other favorite characters than good guy Johnny. Like he is just like... <laughs> Johnny is the man. Even red, or red, white. Johnny is the man. He he had a bad he had a bad year of college, but he recovered. <laughs> he recovered. What happened well, to Sarkin? Did he die? I actually don't know the answer to that question. What I'm more <laughs> he's still on Tarkir. <laughs> what I'm more intrigued at is Tezzeret is playing double agent between Secret? between El Elishnorn and Urbrask, and I'm intrigued to see how this works. He's actually just working for Jinkataxis and nobody else. Well, Jimmy G's on Elishnorn's side. 
Uh, he's just working for Jink Taxes. <laughs> well, I'm convinced that, uh, that uh, the J Jimmy G is this uh, secret Phyrexian god who is just pulling the strings from behind. I was going to say, what if he actually like turns on Elish Noir and he was like, ha, 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 I was, or it's like anime villain, ah, 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 mada, mada, mada. <laughs> I was the super villain all along. All right, so your guess is Elish Noir for Dominaria. I'm going to go with Shieldred. Children, children would make sense to you, though. I mean, both would make sense. Because I feel like they might save Elish Norn for the Wink Wink Nudge Nudge eventual battle set. Wink Wink Nudge Nudge, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. And then they're gonna re- yeah, they're gonna- we've said this before, they're gonna, um, revive, uh, Urza. They're gonna find the Allspark, and they're gonna use it to Like, Dude, don't- don't mess with me, I love Transformers. I actually rekindled that fire of Transformers. I need to watch those movies again. Same here. Say what you want about the Michael Bay Transformers movies. And let's be honest, some of them deserve it. But they're solid, man. So let me just actually segue back to the wonderful task at hand here. This is how... Our first box should have gone. <laughs> yes, but actually, uh, what I'm trying to say is, and this is not something I want to be very... I love... So, caveat on this. I love Dungeons & Dragons. Dungeons & Dragons will be like... A great thing for me for the rest of my life even if I never play it ever again I have great memories with it more than I do with any other game uh, hashtag magic's great but not that great <laughs> but beside the point this is how kind of disappointing this set is when we start talking about other things and yes I get it this set is a commander standalone set doesn't go along with like the main story arc. We didn't of how pull magic the dragon. Is. Like we didn't pull any of the dragons. Well, we got one dragon. It's we somewhere. Did. We, we uh, did. But we it was the, the least. Yeah, it's the least of the dragons, um, and that's unfortunate. But who would have thought that we'd be saying that a great dragon was the least of the dragons? <laughs> that's a good point, man. Oh, who would have thought that the red dragon would be the best one? Oh man, crosses eyes and breaks neck. Well, y'all, thank you so much for watching our probably last set booster box opening of Dungeons and Dragons. We we both <laughs> love this set, but. You kind of whispered the Dungeon and Dragon thing. I was like, this is our last set booster ever? Ever. <laughs> we're just buying like four boosters. Actually, that might be a thing. We're, we're starting to really, really get unlucky on these. Well, to, uh, to temper this, this conversation back towards Dominaria, because that is the next big regular magic booster set coming out. Yeah. Uh, besides Infi Infinity, but you know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, draft bo boxes of Dominaria are going up on Amazon for 160 draft boxes. That's gross. Is there any spoilers for any cards yet? There's Not like the, yet. No, I thought there was like no, We still cards. have to get through Unfinity and the Warhammer 40k decks first, and then we go to Dominaria. Well, the Warhammer 40k decks are going to be fine. Oh, those are going for like, what, 50 bucks instead of like 40 no, they're they're going for like seventy or eighty. Oh, and we still haven't seen pricing on the collectors ones yet. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. That's that's a. Ooh. <laughs> but wait, uh, but uh. But you know we do have friends. <laughs> Minsk and Boo. Boo. <laughs> Two cards of Minsk and Boo come out in the span of S save ten magic months. Minsk and Boo. <laughs> Your only hope, though. No. Uh, no, I mean, I, I'm genuinely excited. You know, we joked last night. I said, you know, we, in a three-week span, we're going to be getting Dominaria United, mm. Unfinity, and the Warhammer 40k decks. And the question just becomes, what do you actually buy? <laughs> uh, one pack of Dominaria. One pack of Unfinity? Uh, two packs of Unfinity to kind of get the do Goblin family. I'm gonna now dub Infinity before we've only seen what a handful of spoilers. Ugh, I'm so not. I'm happy now gonna dub Infinity on Commander. <laughs> I'm not happy with it. Let me tell you. Uh, and then I, I guess I won't. As a shout out, because I doubt he will ever see this video. And if you're watching this video, you should go check it out. Spice Eight Rack just did a video on the uh, history of unsets and how they've actually influenced regular magic. And it is really cool. Plus, Spice 8-Rack Spice is just really funny. I'll do um, that on the way home. And he's, he's super cool. It's about an hour and 45 minutes long, oh, maybe and it is, a, it is an entire mood, man. It is a cool video, and he goes through it. And then uh, Mark Rosewater just recently did a episode of his podcast uh, kind of responding, because he was included in the documentary. He actually was uh, interviewed, but nice. uh, he kind of gave his thoughts on it as well. I, I like the unsets. I just... I, I get what they are. I just, it's not a product I would ever want. Right. It's... And so the, the concept of infinity is interesting to me because 
I'm just more worried that it's going to become Commander Legends 3 and not Infinity. <laughs> so, well, the thing is, I think, like, for the Infinity players that, like, live, breathe, and die hard on uh, hashtag John McClane, uh, on, on Infinity, like, you know, you have, like, your level of, like, Commander, and then below that probably would be, the, like, level of casual, like, below that. You got a kitchen be, table. Yeah. You have, like, CDH, then you have, like, kitchen table, whatever, like, 60 card, whatever. Then you have, like, Commander on top of that, and then you have Infinity that's just, like, its own thing, being the weird little sister in the corner that picks her nose, but also, like, scratches her eyeball. I'm intrigued to see how well it sells. Like, it looks pretty, don't get me wrong. I mean, you can see what you want about certain sets in Magic, but the art is gorgeous. That's I'm, never not been the case. Yeah. And so what intrigues me is how well it's going to actually land. Uh, are the pushed legacy Lego cards going to push the set, or is it going to kind of just be circus of value plus commander card? You know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't really know how to. All I know is they should reprint the Sword of Dungeons and Dragons because the dice rolling card, and they should make it legal now in commander. Do you, uh, Spice Eight Rack brought up this video? Do you the only thing that prevents that card from being blackboarded? What? That you make a gold colored creature token. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. If they literally picked colorless, it would be... Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, if they just eroded it to, like, white, that's fine with me. So, so my answer to you is supposed to be, Mikey, well, Commander is a row zero format. You should be able to play... I, yeah, I could literally... I and could I'd be literally, honest, there are a lot of unset cards that I'm like, yeah, okay. That's like, probably one card like, I would... Like, I really with. wouldn't care. But there's some other stuff that it's like, no, we don't need that. Get yeah, up. that's one card I would be okay with because yes, every time you attack, I think you make a four four, which is kind of crazy. But you oh wait, you have to you have to roll to get that four four first. I don't know. There's it's a cool card though, and there's a lot of cool unset cards. Like I would love to, no, I have to know. play around with have each of us having maybe a deck that is allowed to use unset cards and just see what that would look like in a game of commander. But that is that's it. No, I was saying that's it. We're done. I think so. Get this, get this set out of my face. Well, oh, that's a little aggressive. But oh, okay. sorry. Uh, no, I, you know me. I love this set. Oh, I mean, I genuinely enjoy this set. You have I, to roll a d twenty. I feel like I'm the corner case that actually likes this, you know. But that's okay. Yeah. So you create a four four. You roll a d twenty. What is and if the you roll a twenty? You repeat the process. What is the popular internet phrase? Don't yuck someone else's yum. I believe that's the popular phrase. So look at this. Guys, so just cool. let us enjoy it. Please show the camera. Look at this. Okay, so if you haven't seen the Sword of Dungeons and Dragons, I don't know which unset it's from. Wasn't it? Wasn't it unstable? Unsanctioned. Yeah. Um. So what? It, it's a three mana artifact equipment. You equip for two. A quick creature has plus two plus two and has protection from rogues and clerics. So it's a play on the rest of the swords, which give you protection from two colors. Yep. Uh. So whenever and there are rogues and clerics in you know normal uh normal magic. <laughs> uh. It says whenever a quick creature deals combat damage to a player, so it's not when it attacks, kind of like the sword of feast of famine, but when it deals combat damage to a player, create a four four gold dragon creature token with flying and roll a d twenty. Which is a 20 sided die if you didn't know. <laughs> if you roll a 20, repeat this process, which is kind of sweet. Go infinite? Yeah, so you can go infinite with it, uh, which is kind of cool. But this plus, this plus like barbarian uh, class plus. I was going to say, you'd have to, like, just you'd go have infinite. Have so many, you'd have to have so many. See, but this is the kind of card, to be honest with you, like, I wouldn't care if someone had this in a commander deck. Yeah. I'd be like, okay, that's cool. Like, to me, when it comes to these kind of cards, it's, is it cool? Like, yeah. you know, they made the um, Grimlock. Uh, uh, trans transformer card. You can look it up yes, if you want yes. to. Yes, yes, I love and that. It, card. And it's a flip side card, and people use that as their commander. I'm like, okay, that's cool. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I like, thought about building around it because it just, I love one. I love transformers I, I, and two. I what imagine only, I can't imagine what the cost is to buy one, but. Uh, mm, 230 Yeah, that's you know, fun. no big deal. <laughs> but like, if someone sat down with one of those and was like, this is my commander, I'd be like, all right, cool. Like, I wouldn't care. Like, that's cool. But it's like, it's like, I don't want someone playing the Urza Planeswalker where you have to go to the website to look up what ability it is. Stuff, I'm yeah. like, okay, that's a little too yeah, much. Yeah, that's too much. This is, this is kind of cool, though. So it's like dinosaurs, vehicles, and other people. People use creatures. it as a like a, di a dinosaur commander instead of Gishath. Or that's something. really cool. I which, like I, that. which I think is kind of interesting. But Maybe it is. It's, like, it's stuff like this that that's why I kind of like commanders because mm -hmm. you can kind of like play these off the wall things. And as yeah. long as your player group is okay with it, or if you sit down at a table and say, 
hey guys, I'm playing this as my commander, but I also have this commander in case you guys don't want to or whatever, you know. Right. But I, I can't imagine if you go to a shop and you're hanging out with guys and you're, you know, and you're having fun at a table. If you pull a card like that out, I doubt anyone's going to be like, oh, you can't play that. You know what I mean? Uh, like, I feel like most people would be like, all right, cool, yeah, you know. Look at this, look at this printing of the, it's got the D&D &D logo in the middle of it for the Sword of Dungeons and Dragons. Ah, it's so cool. Well, y'all, that is going to do it for our Commander Legends. Dungeons and Dragons, Battle for Baldur's Gate 2. Electric Boogaloo, <laughs> said Booster Box. And we will catch you guys next time.